In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate a z-score for a variable using SPSS. The variable I'm going to use is total competency score for the employees, and this was taken at time zero, which is before they start their job. So if we go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Descriptives, we want to find our competency score, which is the first one here on the list. Drag it to my variables box, and I want to tick save standardized values as variables. Standardized values is just another name for a z-score. Go ahead and click OK. In the output you're going to see a summary box of descriptive statistics for the variable with just the min, max, mean, and standard deviation. But we need to go to our, our data file to see the new variable. So I'm in the data view and a new variable has been created which is labeled with just a Z in front of the original variable name. So ZT0 total competency. And remember the Z score is the number of standard deviations away from the mean. If we look here at our competency score, it's 27. And if we go back to our output, we can see the mean is 42. So the competency score of 27 is 1.13 standard deviations less than the mean. And that makes sense since our mean was higher than the competency score. Now if you want to verify that this is the same um, output you would get if you calculated it on your own, you can use the data given in the output. Um, however, don't use these rounded values. If you use the rounded values, you're going to get a slightly different answer. If you want to get uh, a precise answer that is um, close to five or six decimal places to the one SPSS gives, you need to double click into this box and then double click on your um, data and then you can see six decimal places of accuracy. So I'm just going to jot this mean value down and then I'm going to go over here to standard deviation and also jot that down so that I can use it to compute my own z-score. If we go to transform and compute, I'm going to call this z-score STDEV. So I'm calculating a z-score using a standard deviation. Now remember a z-score is always the value, which in this case would be competency, minus the mean. And we got the mean from our output, which was 42.471429. And we divide that by the standard deviation, which we copy down as well, which is 13.634. 697, and then go ahead and click OK. Go back to my data file. I've got my new variable here. I'm going to increase the decimal places to 5 so that I can compare it to my original one. And we can see it's really close. It's to 4 decimal places. Um, if I wanted to get it more accurate, I'd probably need to calculate the mean and standard deviation um, to more than 6 decimal places to get uh, a more precise answer, but it's pretty close. Okay, that's it.